Today we will go over how to build a good prompt because usually when you open text to image inside automatic 1111 and you want to use stable diffusion generative AI then it's good to know how to build a good prompt. I was learning from stable diffusion art so I'm going to share it with you what is some basic anatomy of good prompt. So in general it consists of subject, then medium, style, we can use also artist or website which is usually collecting some style, then resolution, additional details, color, lighting and remarks. And then we usually use some generic negative prompt like we do not want to see ugly, displaced and so on. So we will be going together over this manual, we will be testing this inside stable diffusion model. But in this case the model version 1 is used, we will be using the latest and the greatest SDXL. So let's start. So we see that at first we can put there a subject, so a sorceress. So if we put a sorceress and just generate, we will get picture like that. And if we generate again, we will get, we will get another random sorceress picture, so it's too generic. So let's continue. Now medium. So let's just copy this and here is mentioned Emma Watson as powerful mysterious sorceress, casting, lighting, magic, detailed clothing, digital painting is the medium. So okay, let's try to do that. We will just copy this prompt and we will hit generate and let's see what will happen. Okay, so it's not only generated. Okay, so it's still a little blurry. And now we can see that the new model SDXL is also good at generating faces and it should look like digital painting which I believe is the case. Okay, so let's let's continue. So this was medium and subject obviously is this and then medium is digital painting. So let's continue. Now style. So we can add as the manual advises us a parallelistic fantasy Surrealist full body. Let's see what it will do. So let's replace the prompt, hit the generate and let's see what will be the outcome. Okay, and we can see that now we see much bigger part of the body. So let's continue. So if we check how it looked with version 1 model, so we see that we got something, something similar if we check it here. Okay, so let's go on. So now if we add artist, it should shift the style. So here the artist is Alphonse Mucha. Oh, let's see. So if we replace the prompt and hit the generate button. So let's see what will be the outcome inside SDXL model. Ok, 
Okay, let's maybe check what was created here. So these are pictures generated from the version 1 model. And we see that the style that it really looks similar to the style which is generated here. Now, website, uh, usually it refers to the website that can collect some similar pictures. So in this case, in this case, ArtStation, let's try to change the prompt again. And let's see what will happen. Let's hit generate. Between we can check how the pictures look like here. Okay. Let's see. What about the latest SDXL model? And we see this picture was generated. Um, I think it actually looks pretty good. Even the face is pretty good. So let's move on. Now resolution, highly detailed and sharp focus. So let's try to copy and see if it's going to influence anything. And let's hit generate. In between the generation is running, we can check how the results changed here. Okay. So let's see. Okay, now we see that a highly detailed sharp focus actually gave us uh, like a sharp focus and detail into the face. But I mean, it looks pretty, pretty good. So obviously here now, even though we want full body, it seems that it was overridden by highly detailed because probably the deep learning model understands highly detailed as a detail of the face. I mean, let's see, let's move on. So additional details, let's try to add sci-fi, stunning, beautiful, dystopian, and let's see what will be the outcome. Let's hit generate. We can in between the generation check what was created here. So these are the pictures. This definitely looks dystopian. Okay. So let's see. Now this is starting to look a little like from Star Wars, like a lightsaber here. So I mean, it's definitely, definitely interesting. Okay. Now let's try to add color, which is iridescent gold. And let's see how that will change the picture. Okay, and now we already see that the color is changed into the iridescent gold. So here we had these pictures. Generated with previous model and here. Oh, okay. Interesting. So 
we see that definitely there is iridescent gold. And now here is lighting and remarks. So let's try to copy cinematic lighting dark and let's see what that will do, hit generate. And negative prompt, usually you use in case of negative prompt some generic statements like I don't want to see ugly, tiling, poorly draw hands and so on. And this is the final result. So here we can already see that cinematic lighting dark is already getting applied. So I mean it looks pretty cool. And if we add also our negative prompt what we do not want to see and let's increase the batch size into three so we will get three pictures and hit generate and let's see what will be the outcome of this. Now I definitely recommend because I'll attach the link into this guide to go over it because if you continue reading then you can even apply some keyword weight or you can combine the keywords together and here you can see that if you use parentheses like doc 0.5 or doc or doc 1.5 it's just making the word influence the picture stronger so definitely word going over then you can even blend keywords together which means they will be used during the denoising process uh, as the sampling steps continue and then you can simply blend two things together. So definitely recommend to go over this very nice article. And then you can also check keywords that for example if you pass Henry Asensio uh, you would verify if, if it influences any how picture. So let's go and check how far we were able to get. So it seems that it's still being generated and ETA is five minutes. So let's give it a while. Okay, so our generation finished. So it generated three pictures. So we can just have a look. So it looks like that we can select the one that we like the most. I think this one is pretty good. So we can just take it, download it. We can even upscale it and then use or maybe load into GIMP and fix the balance of the colors and so on. There is one more thing I want to show you. Many times you probably do not want to generate this kind of uh, prompt. So if we just take a powerful mysterious sorceress and you download from automatic 111 git repository so-called prompt generator, which is just different neural network trained to generate a prompt, you can just put here start of the prompt a powerful mysterious sorceress then you just hit generate you can of course download different models and then it will like uh, give you the prompt that we can use so let's for example test this one and we will just put it here we will do batch size just one And let's see, let's see what it will do.
Okay, so it's being generated. Oh, okay, nice. And then, of course, you can fine tune the parts of the prompt and then play with it. Or you can increase the batch size to simply test what you can get out of it. So this is it. This is our picture. And that's it. That's how to use the prompt in case of stable diffusion.